lumbar puncture. The lumbar puncture is a procedure involving the insertion of a hollow needle beneath the arachnoid membrane of the spinal cord at the 3-4 disc space in the lumbar region. Cerebral spinal fluid is then withdrawn for diagnostic purposes or to administer intrathecal medication or contrast. This is an aseptic procedure beginning with hand sanitizing. Hat, gown, mask, and sterile gloves are donned when preparing the tray and hat and mask are required in the room when the tray is open. The lumbar puncture tray is usually set using sterile technique in the direction of the use or doctor preference. Betadine and or alcohol is poured into the hollows for cleaning the back. A mammometer is used with a stock cock to measure intracranial pressure. The xylocaine is stood up and drawn up with the 18 gauge needle and 3 milliliter syringe. Test tubes are stood up with lips, lids open. Each tube is 6 milliliters. Usually, each tube is filled with 1 to 5 milliliters of CSF. The gauge of the needle is determined by the thickness of the back and the amount of fluid to be removed. Informed consent is taken by the physician prior to the lumbar puncture. Informed consent consists of the individual giving consent that they fully understand the nature of the procedure. The risks involved, including complications and side effects, desired outcomes, possible alternatives. The individual giving consent has the legal capacity to do so if he or she is a competent adult, a legal guardian, emancipated, married, or mature minor, parent, legal guardian, or individual obligated by a court order. The fluoroscopy table should have a footboard and a p shoulder pads. The patient is placed in a prone or lateral cube with knees flexed and gonadal shielding in place. The right or left marker is placed on the image in temp tensifier. A timeout is performed prior to the lumbar puncture. The timeout is a pause immediately prior to initiation of a procedure that clearly expresses via active communication with all in the room that this is the correct patient, the correct procedure, the correct site, the correct patient position, and the availability of equipment, images, and implants. The patient is asked about their pain level pre, during, and post procedure. The radiologist will insert the spinal needle into the cleansed, ventrated, drape site at L3-4. The needle will advance to the subarachnoid space and the stylet will be withdrawn the mammometer and stopcock will be attached at the end of the catheter and a pressure measured. The four tubes are filled and given aseptically to the technologist who will label them with the patient's name, date of birth, MR, date, time, CSF, contact number, and take to the lab. Documentation in the patient's chart is to include times for patient's assessment, Pain of pain, times and identity of the persons in the timeout, pause, pressures, MCLFs to, uh, uh, of the CSF taken. All will be taken to the lab.